Ah, welcome back my gardening friends. Well it's time to start taking the long routes out for the Malvern Autumn Show for the National Giant Vegetable Championships. I'm going to take the long carrot out today because that got the motley dwarf virus spread by the uh, carrot willow aphid. Uh, the long black beetroot from uh, Medwins of Al Anglesey. I've just noticed, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but the roots have just started to come out of the bottom of the four meter guttering. So I'm going to be leaving that one uh, for a while. I just wanted to do a test to see how the long carrots have done. Not done the long carrots before. So let's have a little look. So the idea is there's a pond at the bottom. We keep it covered with the black plastic to keep so the roots don't get the light and uh, the roots travel down at that angle and uh, give us a, a nice long route to take to the show. Let's go and have a look at the top. So there's the uh, uh, the radish moule April Cross F1 and uh, it's uh, really quite big at the top. Uh, we've got two carrots in there or one carrot I can't remember now but I didn't separate them properly. So uh, everything seems to be going well the april cross that we sowed a lot earlier i was told would go to seed absolutely but how long's the route we'll be finding out in future videos so uh, each video will be with each uh, type of variety and today is going to be the uh, carrot from uh, medwins so there we have it uh, last year i made the massive mistake by letting weeds grow uh, some of these weeds uh, could end up being uh, massive and you can mistake them and as we go up we've got the carrots you can we can see roots there so I uh, will get this off we'll flip it upside down and we'll see how far it's gone not grown a carrot before so I'm definitely going to pe beat my personal best Well, what did I say earlier? I didn't see that growing out the top of the carrots. It gets a bit busy there, but uh, I was chasing that root <laughs> all the way down. And uh, there was that little one. That's just that little, little one. Look at look how far the, uh, the root's gone down. Uh, that's the one that got affected by the carrot uh, willow aphid so uh, the root got down to there not too bad and this is the one that was already growing next to it still quite healthy so that's going right to the end of there and uh, beyond must do better with the weeds so let's get these two carrots into the tray so this is how I uh, take them uh, to Malvern uh, and transport them well, wherever we go and they've got the uh, bits on the bottom, polycarbon is on the bottom and those there help me to uh, keep them just above 
where we need them to be. And I've got four of these, so carrots, parsnip, beetroot, and the radish. So we won't be able to get the carrot out until we've got the other four out. So this one is going to be the one that was affected by the motley dwarf virus spread by the carrot willow aphid. Uh, not too bad considering interesting to see what the other one does uh, underneath it so that's one of eight we'll see how we get on with the others happy gardening to you all till next time my friends to for now